guys, I'm John, and we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Coolant Filtration Kit for the 6-liter power stroke. Tools needed for installation include a flathead screwdriver, 21mm wrench, 10mm ratchet wrench, 3 8 drive ratchet, 19mm socket, pliers, a 5mm allen key, Teflon tape, a funnel, and factory approved coolant. Install time is about 45 minutes, and install difficulty is a 2 out of 5. First, before we start our install, we want to go ahead and prepare the kit. Wrap the threads for both ball valves with Teflon tape in the direction that the valve will thread into the housing. Thread the ball valves into the housing and tighten them with a 22mm wrench until seated properly. Be careful not to over torque the valves. Using a 5mm Allen key, Attach the mounting bracket to the housing using the three supplied Allen bolts and washers. Now we're ready to start the install. First, we need to remove the 10mm bolt holding the intercooler to the radiator. Now we can install the bracket in the housing. Use the 10mm bolt you just removed to hold the bracket and housing in place. Be sure that the ball valves are positioned in the proper orientation. Install the provided wicks filter onto the housing and hand tighten. The cleanest way to do this install is to drain the coolant until it's below the heater hose, probably a couple gallons. Remove the two spring clamps holding the overflow coolant hose in place. Next, reinstall the Mishimoto silicone T-hose in the overflow coolant hose location. Reuse the two spring clamps you just removed earlier. Attach the opposite end of the silicone T-hose to the ball valve. Make sure you have one worm gear clamp already on the silicone hose before attaching it to the ball valve. Now, let's move over to the passenger side of your engine. Remove the heater hose and the one spring clamp holding it in place. Install the second Mishimoto silicone T-hose in the provided black plastic fitting. You're going to want to reuse the one spring clamp on the hose side and the two worm gear clamps on the fitting side. Attach the opposite end of this silicone T-hose to the ball valve. Note the coolant enters in at the heater hose and out at the overflow. Make sure the one worm gear clamp is already on the hose before attaching it to the ball valve. Make sure to top off your cooling system. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto coolant filtration kit, you're going to want to bring your truck up to operating temperature, check for any leaks, and top off your overflow container.